Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we have a few new Fenty products to review. So in today's video, we are reviewing the hydrating primer, the hydrating foundation, and the new eyebrow pencil. So if you want to see these in action, then just keep watching. So Fenty just released some awesome new products and I had to pick them up. I was so excited for the hydrating products because their previous complexion products were so drying on me. They were great for oily skin, but for the more normal to dry people, I put my money on saying the majority of us were like, no. Had to pick it up. It took them a really long time to come out with these products. I can't believe it took them so long. So anyways, we're gonna start off with the primer. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Typical Fenty packaging. It's very cohesive with the rest of her line. It has a frosted glass. This is this nude pink. Absolutely beautiful and simple. You get one ounce of product for $32. And online it says this is a lightweight hydrating pr makeup primer for normal to dry skin that nurtures, keeps skin comfortable all day and extends foundation wear. So I have had experience with this. I wore this the other day. So I kind of have a little bit of a feel of what I think of it. The highlighted ingredients here are grapeseed oil and sodium hyaluronate, which hydrates the skin. So let's get her out. Here's what it's looking like it's a, like a light sheer pink it definitely does not feel oily it does not feel heavy it does feel lightweight as it claims I'm just gonna take that was a pump and we're gonna get the center of the face my face my nose area is kind of feeling a little bit dry I gotta admit I really like how this feels on my skin it definitely reminds me of like a gel moisturizer it's very similar it does have a little bit more slip to it than a gel moisturizer but I really am enjoying how this makes my skin feel I think it's a really nice lightweight moisturizing primer as far as the longevity goes I can't say if it actually does extend the longevity of the foundation but typically moisturizing foundations don't I think that's just a claim that they put in there because rule of thumb if it adds moisture it's not going to help with the longevity if it's a more mattifying primer then it is going to extend the longevity because it kind of stops those oils from coming through which in return increases the longevity of the foundation how my skin is feeling now it's been on for a little bit my skin doesn't feel extremely sticky there is a little bit of tack but for the most part it's almost all gone so i think in a minute or two the stickiness will go away so it melts into the skin really fast my skin feels much better more moisturized so I actually really do like that primer it's not lotiony it's more gel like so I think more normal skin that is really super great if you have extremely dry skin I definitely would go with something a little bit more thick and moisturizing but for normal everyday skin even oily skin I feel like could get away with using that so I really like this it's very lightweight now it's time for the foundation this is the hydrating long wear foundation usually again hydrating and long wear don't really go hand in hand so we will see about that I'm so excited for this I do have normal to dry skin it's more normal now in the summer but this is everything I'm looking for by what it sounds so this is $35 in it you get 1.08 ounces which is 0.08 more than the average foundation it is a hydrating long wear foundation that delivers comfortable skin medium to full coverage in a natural finish perfect for normal to dry skin. I love that they're really targeting that this is all for normal to dry skin. Most of the time, brands will try and get away and say, this is for every skin type when it clearly is not. Thank you for being honest, Fenty. Coverage, medium, finish, natural, highlighted ingredients, grapeseed oil. So obviously, as you know, Fenty has a great color range. I believe this is in line with the color range from the original foundation. I have mine in the shade 230. I just got the same shade that I am in the other foundation. Hopefully it works out. Let's talk packaging of this guy instead of being in that frosted bottle like the other foundation this is in a nice squeezy tube with a pump I love foundations like this it's very sanitary and there's something nice about a squeezy tube that's just so simple so I'm gonna quickly compare the colors to see if they are the same so this first swatch is the original mattifying in 230 and now let's squeeze a little pump hold on I hate this part of a new foundation there we go 
So here is the original. Here is the hydrating. I know I haven't painted my nails in a while. Just ignore that. They are very, very similar. It's looking like the matte one is a bit more deep, like a touch. I think it'll blend out to be the same on the face. Kind of looking at the finish between the two, they kind of look the same and feel the same finish-wise. Like the matte one doesn't really look like it's trying to be more matte. But that's just a hand swatch. That really means nothing, but the consistency of it seems to be the same. You know, one doesn't seem to be thicker than the other. But let's just get this on the face before this video is 50 minutes long. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start off with one pump. This is how much you get out of one pump. And the way I like to apply is just to spread it out and then use a sponge to push it in. Hopefully I didn't put too much on. So the way that I applied was kind of to maximize coverage. You could use less if you want a more natural finish or a lighter feeling on this skin. So I would say this is definitely a light medium coverage, more so leaning towards medium rather than light. I think this could probably build up to a full medium, but we'll see about that. So I'm just going in with my second pump and put it on the other side of my face. I think this foundation might be a touch too light. I just think I've gotten darker from being in the sun, so this will be fine in the right season. But this is how one layer is looking. We're right about at a medium coverage. I definitely see a natural dew to the skin. I don't see any emphasization of any dry patches, though to be fair, I don't really have any dry patches, but some really bad foundations will emphasize dry patches that don't even exist, I swear. It's looking nice. I'm gonna add another half layer, so maybe not a full layer, just a little bit of extra product on some problem areas just to see how it builds. Adding another layer definitely helps with coverage. I'm gonna add some on my cheeks, hide a little bit of redness. I do think that the foundation does slightly oxidized, but it's not one of those heavily oxidizing foundations. So I would say what you put on your hand after about a minute is pretty true to color. This definitely is not the most smoothing or like poor refining foundation. I think, you know, it's more hydrating, so it just looks healthier on the skin, but it's definitely not going to hide or smooth over those pores. But my skin does look very healthy and hydrated. We'll have to see how other products play on top. I know I look severely sick right now, but we're going to move on to the next product. So we have the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Styler. This is $20. I picked it up yesterday. It released yesterday. It is $20, which not cheap, not super expensive. Details. So this is an ultra fine retractable brow pencil that comes in a variety of different long lasting waterproof smudge resistant shades with a built in paddle brush for easy blending and styling. Looks like there are 14 shades. I did see them in store. There is a really great range which caters to a lot of different hair types you know if you have very red hair they have more red based brow products more ashy colors more warm colors dark colors black brown black I think they have a great range of colors I picked mine up in the shade medium brown which is supposed to be a little bit more warm personally I don't prefer a more warm undertone but this one just looked the best based on the colors that I'm used to just simple white triangular packaging and the two ends are very interesting so it is a pretty thinly tip pencil, which I like more thin. I like a more defined hair-like brow pencil. And what's very interesting is this uh, paddle. It's kind of like an artiste brush right here. I don't know how I feel about this. I think there's nothing wrong with a spoolie. I think spoolies separate the hairs and brush them. Fantastic. So we will see how this goes. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm gonna use the paddle, brush my hairs up. We're getting a little mini brow tutorial here today. I'm gonna start by defining under here and the color is depositing very easily. I'm getting very fine lines, which is great. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm just so used to a spoolie that I'm not really feeling this whole paddle brush thing. And I like this color. It's not too deep, it's just soft enough so that it looks pretty natural. I think medium brown is going to be a very universal color. So the pencil itself is blending pretty easily with the brush. I think the brush just hits so harsh that 
the pencil has nothing else to do other than blend it has no other option that paddle is good for blending out the product it's not blending too easily it's not too creamy of a pencil which is fantastic an eyebrow pencil that's too creamy takes away the definition of the brow so this is a really nice in between some thoughts about the pencil I think it's a nice pencil I really like the color I like the blendability of it but the fact that it's not super duper blendable I don't really care for this brush and I think a spoolie just does a better job as far as when you brush it out it kind of separates the hair which makes the brow look a little bit more thick I just feel like I have more control with a spoolie this isn't going to replace my ABH or my benefit brow pencil if I'm being honest but it is a good brow product so I'm not mad I picked it up I really like the color of this too so if you do struggle with finding a brow pencil that matches you I would definitely go towards Fenty they have a little bit more of unique playful colors I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to use all Fenty complexion products just to kind of work with the makeup we have. I'm going to lightly set with the Fenty powder. I don't set heavily, just mostly in the T-zone. Uh, by the way, after a few minutes, the foundation is sticky. It's not self-setting. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is the completed look. I will put everything I use down below in the description box. Here's how we're looking overall. I made a mistake. I wanted to stick with using Fenty complexion products, so I used the Pro Filter Instant Retouch setting powder I forgot how dry this can make my skin look but I thought it would be okay because this was a hydrating foundation I have a hydrating primer it would all even out it would be great no so essentially after I did the concealer and the powder I just felt like I looked super makeup-y all of the lovely hydration that the foundation gave me was gone I just put it in my t-zone though not the rest of my face but yeah I was not feeling the area that I powdered and concealed I did go in with some Mac fix plus to kind of fix what I messed up but in all respects like this should work with the foundation so I needed to do it if you don't like this powder the foundation does not make it any better so what I'm thinking about everything so far is this isn't the most super hydrating primer in the world I think it's great for more normal to combo skin it does add a little extra hydration but I was a little bit more dry than I thought today my nose was a little bit dry I need to drink more water so I think on days like this I should have gone with a more heavy duty primer the foundation itself I think it's nice it's a little bit more makeup-y like it's not the most natural looking foundation because it does have a lot more coverage like of all the foundations that's released lately this is more on the higher amount of coverage than the others which I think is great to have a hydrating more full coverage foundation that is different than all of the releases right now so yeah it looked really pretty glowy on the skin and added coverage which is great but yes you can definitely tell there's makeup on my skin which isn't always a bad thing because obviously I didn't wake up like this the eyebrow pencil I mean as far as updates go what I'm gonna be looking out for today is just to see that the brow lasts so I can't really say much about that now so I actually am doing some wedding makeup today so I don't know that I will have time to update I will be very busy I probably will be hot sweaty and working so this is really gonna go through it so I may not have time to check in so we'll see all right so it's only been two hours but I'm about to leave to go work so I did just want to do a little update to show you how the makeup has settled in after two hours honestly everything looks really nice now that it's had a couple hours to settle into the skin it's definitely looking better I don't notice anything bad nothing really different from initial application except it looks a little bit better honestly so yeah my skin looks quite perfected sitting really well on my skin I do have a natural hydration to the skin now which is great so I'm gonna go work and then I will update you once I'm done hello okay so it is officially eight hours since i first put the products on my face i'm so excited to bring you my update i have some thoughts let's zoom you in to how my skin is looking now keep in mind i did have quite a busy day today i did a wedding and that always gets crazy lots of standing lots of movement it always kind of destroys my makeup i did eat a sandwich my skin it's not looking dry at all in fact it's looking very very dewy so i started off saying i looked a little matte at the beginning of the day that went away i am dewy we are breaking up a little bit around the mouth area especially right here we do have some indentations here where my smile lines are but let's see if it just 
Okay, that was a pretty easy fix. That's not bad at all. So I will say this foundation I feel like doesn't really set set down like you might want to powder over a little bit even if you are more dry just because the foundation kind of moves a little bit. But for eight hours and having a busy day, I am not mad at all about how my skin looks. I will say I am a bit dewier than some other dewy foundations make me look at this point. Like I have some great dewy foundations where I don't look super oily at the end of the day. I'm looking pretty oily but I'm actually not mad at it like it's not a gross oily I am a little disappointed with how it looks in this region because it looks a little gross here but the rest of my face looks nice healthy and glowy and I'm not mad at all I'm very happy with how my forehead is looking especially that looks really really good as far as the eyebrows go honestly it looks the same this is a pretty solid eyebrow pencil but I'm gonna take a step back and go over my thoughts on the products individually so let's start off off with the primer. I like this primer. I don't love it. I think there's a time and a place for this primer for me. On days that I am super dry, this is not going to be my go-to. For days that I am a little bit more oily or my skin is in really good condition, this is when I would go for it. I don't think this is for somebody with severely dry skin. It just doesn't cure that at all. But if you have more normal or combo skin, I think this is a really good primer. Even if you have oily skin, if you do have more dry patches in the winter, this might be good to help it a little bit without something feeling super heavy on the face because this does just kind of sink into the skin really fast as well so that also can be really good if you don't need that moisture to stay there all day so I do like this I don't love it I just don't think it's the kind of moisturizing primer that I prefer but I do think it's really really nice now the foundation at first I was not really feeling it when I put all that powder on this morning I was like Ugh. no it actually really is a hydrating foundation I do not look dry at all now that time has passed uh, it's worn pretty well it's not the most long wearing and this does claim to be long wearing but I don't think it's super long wearing given the amount of coverage that it has and how hydrating it is it is pretty good as far as wear time goes because if you have a thicker foundation you can look pretty nasty at the end of the day so I am liking this so I definitely like this way more than the other foundation that they have a lot more so definitely if you did not like that foundation I would definitely give this one a go be prepared to have to touch up if you have more normal to combo skin but it is really really nice all of my dry skin girls this is really good without setting I do think you should just take a little bit of like a veil powder and just lightly press it over the skin just to set it so that it doesn't move but other than that I really think that they are now catering to another set of skin types which is fabulous it took them long enough to get a foundation like this so actually I really do like this I don't think it's the best hydrating foundation in the world but I like it a lot I think it's really good it's a nice addition to their line they really needed that the eyebrow pencil ah oh, it's a solid eyebrow pencil I don't think there's really anything special about it it has lasted pretty well throughout the day it's not waxy enough to really kind of hold my brows, but that's not an eyebrow pencil's job like not many eyebrow pencils do that but that's just a thought it's not too creamy it's not too hard and rough it did a pretty good job at definition and it didn't lose its definition over the day it didn't bleed anything like that some bad pencils will do that so I like this pencil I still prefer my tried and trues but if you are a Fenty enthusiast and you want to support the brand you're not going to be disappointed in this but I have to say I'm sure some people like it but I do not like this little paddle I just think it doesn't get the job done like a good old cheap spoolie does because a cheap spoolie that kind of separates the hair makes your eyebrows look a little bit more full and I just feel like I have more control as to where my eyebrow hairs go I mean this paddle kind of works but it could be better it could be better that is all I have for today's video and for the new Fenty products so I'm trying to start this thing so let's all participate if possible let me know down below your skin type the shade that you're wearing and how the product performed for you I will pin a very helpful comment most likely somebody who has the opposite skin type skin color as me so that we can all help each other out here so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful if you have not taken the time to subscribe to my channel you should <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching have a great day I will see you in the next video bye